Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Chainlink Flail, a weapon of the Flail class with optimal scaling on a few different infusions. Honestly, I was debating going the Occult Infusion route on an Arcane build, since it does have the natural blood loss buildup. The reason I decided to opt for the Strength build was the higher physical damage, as well as the fact that I gain access to a wide variety of Ashes of War. I feel like having a wide variety of Ashes of War does benefit a weapon like this that doesn't have the highest burst damage. I really think the only type of burst damage that I can think of to use with this weapon is the Jumping L1. Has really good damage output when paired with the Claw Talisman, but if you plan to two-hand it, the attacks are not very quick. You're not going to get easy roll catches off of it, in my opinion, since the recovery isn't the fastest as well. So you may trade into your opponent if you do have the poise to tank some of the lighter weapons. And when two-handed, this weapon does have around, I think, 105 poise damage. So if they aren't heavy on the poise, you will stun them. That is beneficial. Do wielding, though, the do with attacks come out not at the same time, so they're consecutive attacks, not simultaneously. And that lowers the poise damage of the overall attack. And they aren't very quick, and you do not cover a lot of space when you actually attack. So I feel like people are going to get hit by the initial part of the L1 and then dodge out of it. So when do wielding, I'll probably opt for jump attacks. And then if I want to poise break my opponent, I'll go for the standard light attacks while two-handing for the heavier poise damage. And to that end, I think having some Ashes of War like Flaming Strike and the burst damage ones will benefit it very greatly. Although alternatively, if you do go for the Occult Infusion, you're going to have bleed buildup. So you could get some pretty beefy bleed procs if they are hit with jump attacks and some of the do wield attacks as well. The stats for the build are on the right, and my choice of talisman, like I said, claw talisman for the jump attack burst damage. If I'm using some damage output, Ashes of War, I'm going to use the Shard of Alexander, and then we have the Crimson Emerodine plus 2 for the HP boost, and the Bulgo talisman for the poise. I'm also going to start off with Warcry as one of the Ashes of War, give us some better physical damage, 606, and we also have a chase down R2. <laughs> if we manage to land that, I feel like it would be pretty funny. And then in the offhand, when we have Storm Stomp. I feel like that could work really well to get a quick hit in at the end to finish off our opponent, especially they're coming in to try and trade, get a guaranteed R1 off it. Always good to have Storm Stomp for some guaranteed damage. That's all I really have to say about the weapon though, let's just see how it performs in the duels and in the invasions. Alright, heading into our first battle, we have Joseph. Hello there, man. Or Yosef. Hey! Hello there. It's a wizard! He has fake pews and real pews, that's very unusual, and he's got the rock pews as well. This is a man of many pews. I'm going to be trying to hit him with my chains. My chains of doom. Sir. <laughs> I was mid-jump. That's why that hit me. That's really funny. <laughs> oh my god, I got the L1 off. I'm actually really surprised. Um, let's boost our Ash of War. Uh, okay, no, we're not going to boost that. Let's boost the jump attack. I'm just going to just run around a little bit here. <laughs> to avoid all the wizarding. Okay. Which one's this? Oh, no, not Star Shower. That's actually kind of good, in a way. So, okay, we're going to pull out the Storm Stomp for him, just so we can catch his roll when he rolls near us. <laughs> Running L1's putting in work because of the delay. He's rolling early. <laughs> Honestly, that's really funny. Yeah, the running L1's delay can be pretty good if they roll by you, since the... Well, they are a little slow from the neutral L1, though. But yeah, I had some good luck with that. <laughs> Our next opponent is Raya. We'll give Raya a nice wave there. Hello, Raya. How are you? Um, let's put these back here. Wants to start off by chipping my ritual sword and shield. <laughs> Ooh, you know, that's not the best blood loss buildup. I kind of want to use Chilling Mist after an initial stun from our attack. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, I'll take those off if you don't enjoy fighting them. All right, Raya. I'm going to smack you once and then do this as a follow-up. You know what? Not the worst. We actually got the Frostbite build up there. Wasn't the worst trade imaginable. Um. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, really fun fight, Raya. Yeah, sometimes using Piercing Fang out of nowhere. Like, I like to use it after I've stunned the opponent once, because then you have, like, the slow buildup and they kind of panic roll. But if you use it out of nowhere, you can definitely punish it, because it's a slow startup. Weenus is our next challenger. Hello, Weenus. Looks like you have the Knight's Greatsword. Okay. Oh, I'll let you buff up. I guess my buff will be a crab. I don't have any, really. Huge bust for this build. Alright, Weenus. Taste the flame! Honestly, it has more range than you would think. 
feel like that catches people off guard. Just a little bit. Just enough. Bait him in here. Maybe he'll attack. Whoop. Slowest L1 you've ever seen. But sometimes the slow speed will catch people off guard. Then you can move into the faster one. <laughs> we took a trade. Not the worst trade though. <laughs> okay, let's enhance our jump and our Ash of War. Get some stamina back here. And then we're going to pressure with running L1s. Because they're pretty slow. Dual straight starts. Okay, so lots of jump attacks are going to come my way. He could have did it there, but he didn't. Oh, the first one hit me, but not the second. Interesting. <laughs> yep. The slow speed of the running L1 really catches you off guard. And he had the poise to tank it, so sometimes you don't notice you get hit by the first initial one. Oh, Crucible Knight cosplay. Hello there. Okay. Got the shield and everything. All right. And Solaria's tree. Okay. This is going to be dangerous. How about the... Oh. <laughs> oh, that's inventive. I like that. I haven't seen many people honestly do that. Okay, we'll take, I was going to say we can take a trade, but I'm going to have to attack a little bit early. I'm pretty convinced that we have higher latency. So anything I go to whiff punish, I have to do a little earlier than I'm comfy doing. It's hard to like adjust your mind to that, honestly. It's got the poise needed to tank. Okay, let's do this and let's put on flaming strike. Whoa, whoa. Just so we can get some form of AoE. Oh, that's the end of it. Fun fight though, okay. I like the Crucible Knight costume. I think I need to do that soon. Our next opponent is Lunacy. Hello there. With the Naga Kiba. And two buffs. So we're just going to use some defense. And then he wants to chip me before I buff. Instead, you're going to take the chip damage, my friend. Fireball. Yes, well, here's Ice Ball for you. <laughs> How do you feel? L1. <laughs> Ooh, that has some good bleed build up. We're gonna stop that to not take any free types of damage. Let's get a little bit of regen going here. Slowest L1, but honestly, still works. <laughs> He's a fan of the Ash of War. You know what? I kind of want to try to backstab him. It'll be really funny if I land it. But I also have to watch out for the Phantom Strikes on the on the bleed build up, because that's just free damage that we don't want to give them. So. Hey there. Backstab? <laughs> that would have been funny. Yeah, even when he gets the phantom hits on me. Backstab? <laughs> oh, that might bleed me. Oh, I lost him fast. Okay. Cool. That worked out pretty well for me. Um. No. Oh my god, it actually worked for him. Boop. <laughs> Boop. Okay, we're going to have to definitely do some very high damaging things. We're going to put on Flaming Strike for him. And we're going to boost the Ash of War. For sure. Oop. Because we have some higher latency with him. He didn't jump into that, unfortunately. Is he hoping I'll... Is, was he trying to cast? I think he was. Bye, Lunacy. I'll see you later, sir. <laughs> Interesting build, though. I had enough faith for, like, a full heal. And then also... Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Interesting build. Oh, round two with Raya. Hello, Raya. Okay, you know what? A second chance at this. We could see what your build can do. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't R1 out of that. Oh, there you go. You chipped my uh, shield and sword talisman right away. Um... Bam. Into this. Oh! I... That was interesting. I didn't, like, get stunned from the animation of the first hit, and then I took all the bleed at once. Oh! Oh, because Raya's having some packet loss. I see. Okay. We're going to have to bring this back, then. <laughs> Take the helmet off here. Get rid of the bleed as well. Okay. 
Oh, oh man, it's scary. Because Rai is taking hits a little bit late. I really can't go for any trades. Oh, ooh, ooh. Must be in like a packet loss moment right now. Terrifying, really. Uh, I could take a hit out of nowhere and it would be over. He might have just jump attacked right there. Yeah, it definitely did. 100%. Right, I'm going to let you stabilize here because... Yeah, I, I can't approach that. If I take a trade, it's over. And I might take a trade out of God knows where. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, somehow. <laughs> we beat that. Oh my God. All right, really fun fight, Raya. Except for the, the latter half. That was a little bit scary. <laughs> Our next opponent has what looks like a curve. Yes, yes. Curve greatsword. Beastman Cleaver. Hello. Oh, I didn't dodge that for some reason. I think sometimes when you pivot, it eats your dodge input. So you got to be careful with that. Well, I do especially. I tend to move around a lot when I'm like about to run. Is that a poison weapon? <laughs> That's really funny. Ooh, 866. Not bad. Let's try the R1, R2. Come here. Oh, he actually let me hit him with it. No way. <laughs> Gonna try to jump attack? Yeah, a jumping light might have actually punished me there. Maybe, you know, I definitely have to make use of the running L1s a little bit more. No one expects them. Whoop. Whoop. You can maybe come for the punish on the poison if you were fast enough. Sadly, he wasn't. Although he's playing a little bit defensive now, because he doesn't want to get hit by the final hit, so we're just gonna try and get him with that. Oh! He's actually bringing it back, honestly. Oh, oh, we had some higher latency. I didn't really notice at first, but the way he took that last R1 kind of makes sense for my bad timing. <laughs> A poison beastman cleaver, though. Interesting. Ooh, our next opponent is Int. Hello there. How are you with uh, two thrusting swords? Or are those dual straight swords? I can never tell right away. Sometimes it takes me a bit. Oh, I just realized I didn't buff to my crag blade, so we're not going to be using that. L1. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was interesting. <laughs> no one expects the faster R1. Might just stick with the two-handing, just so we can get a little bit better damage out of it. Hmm, we've taken some trades. Don't know if they're the most beneficial, but... Okay. Okay. Oh, he has the poise to not get stunned by it. Oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Still some free damage there, honestly. <laughs> Sometimes the, the vertical initial attack of the flail is pretty good for pulling people out of the air. Because most people that use dual straight swords want to jump attack, right? Even though the initial dual wield attack is pretty good too. Just the opening of jumps. It's really hard to perfectly space a jump attack until you get the connection perfectly down. And even then, I would say it's not the best. I dodged the frostbite. <laughs> um, let's do this. Maybe we can tank a hit. We're frostbitten too, though, so I gotta be very careful. Maybe we can get him to jump into the flame. He seems to love to do jumping attacks. He's got a katana now in the offhand. Ah, spaced it perfectly. That was really dangerous, though, because a lot of well, connections, you'll get a lot of phantom range on the two-wheel jump attack, so gotta be pretty sure if you're going to try to space it. But he did it so much, I kind of got a feel for it. And our final match is Sir Gideon Offnir. <laughs> That's a pretty cool cosplay, honestly. Um, I like it. Ah, oh, okay. That's interesting. Don't weaken me. <laughs> Actually, I don't even really know what this uh, yeah, what that Ash of War does, to be completely honest. Ooh, the pillars were useful there for me. He's got the full casting going on. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I don't know why I jumped. I cued my jump right there. Jump. We take the trade. I don't know what's more damaging, his attack or mine. But I wonder when his his bubble is gonna pop because I'm intrigued to see if that will do good damage against me or not. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> oh, I didn't actually. Unfortunate. Wonder how many hits it takes for that uh, incantation bubble to crack. I always forget its name. Is it Law of something? 
I have never used it. Now we move into the invasions, and I've invaded Uncle Donovan in the castle. Stormville invasions are honestly some of my favorite. They aren't? Wait, is he? No. I thought he was here fighting, but he's not. Ooh, oh, there's actually an invader here. Red, I'm coming. Survive. You survived no time at all, sir. Honestly, that was nothing. <laughs> I thought I could do- Oh, no, you're alive. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, yes, the dragon breath. Uh, I don't want to get caught up in any of that, Mr. Dragon teammate. I don't want to get caught up in any of your dragon breaths. I'm just going to do a little bit of regening here. Okay, I'm good. Uh, it's enhanced jump attack. I'm coming. Hey there. We traded. I don't know what happened to God of War, but he's right here taking some damage. Alright, I go against the uh, dual spear guy. <laughs> Whoop. Whoop. Oh, I thought he'd come after me. No! Careful! Careful, Red! Ooh. Nice job with the Ash of War! It was beautiful! It went right off my stun. <laughs> Woo. Yes, Donovan, I'm here for you. With my terrible L1. Oh, sorry, man. We could try to backstab him. I actually have that on one of my weapons as well. Do it. Turn and burn. Turn and burn me. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Bam! And then I'll do the Estus Punishing. Team of the terrible we weapons. That's what we are. Me and this guy. I gotta watch out for the crossbite, though. <laughs> He wants to finish me off. We're going to heal. Bam! <laughs> Play calmly here, teammate. Nice. Get him. Oh, I was close. Oh, I thought you'd go for an attack. <laughs> oh, I missed that would have been the end. Let's get him with the dagger. Get him. I got the Estus Punish. I'm going for the S this point. Uh, nice. <laughs> Good job. Finish him with the bow. <laughs> the not so used weapon teammates. Good job, Sigurd. <laughs> That's funny. Moving into the next invasion, we are in the snowfield and we've invaded Gigi. Oh, he's at the grace point. Hello, GG. Hello. Oh, that's a teammate. <laughs> so we have long range and long range. Pure pyro, maybe, for GG? Hard to say. Okay, so lightning cast and the fireballs. Oop. Still throwing fireballs? He is. He's a pure pyro build. And this guy is just throwing lightning. I'm just gonna heal over here. Oh, there's a blue. Oh my god, really blue? And now I heal. There is a tree there as well. Okay. Well, that was a rough start, just simply because I did not know that there was a blue being summoned in. Bam, bam. Oh my god, that still has range. Okay. I can still reach, really. Bam. Bam. Okay, one down. <laughs> Rather easy once you're able to attack. Bam. 
Goodbye, boys. That was definitely the long-range projectile team, other than the blue. <laughs> but a little bit of distraction took their, like, 3v1 projectile spam away. All right, heading into the final invasion, and we're in Grail's Dragon Barrow. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm going to drink my Physic Flask here. Hello, though, guys. Hello. Uh, Kronos. Both of you can attack me at the same time. That's an interesting setup. A katana with an offhand curved greatsword. And a Rivers of Sun, bro. Ooh, interesting. Hello. <laughs> kind of want to go for a backstab, but it might cost me a little bit of health, so I'm going to do this first. I was hoping the Sun, bro, would have for that, actually. Didn't want to hit the host. <laughs> I like that he enjoys this katana, though. Oh man, no! Uh, why'd you come in first? The sun bro is supposed to be who fights me first. Boom! I feel like the hosts are very aggressive usually when, when they have a teammate, but it gets them finished quickly because they don't heal. They just think the numbers is going to be more damage output for them. Alright, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the chain link flail. I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase. This was the first showcasing of a flail. So I feel like it worked pretty well. Obviously, they're not the best weapon type, but you can manage them. I feel like dual wielding definitely helped a lot because you get the jumping dual wield attack damage. Definitely benefits its burst damage. Otherwise, you don't really have a lot of burst damage on the weapon. And of course, keep commenting other weapons that I have yet to showcase below. I really do appreciate all the input. It's honestly hard to keep track of what ones I have and haven't done. Often I check on my own channel, so it is nice to see the recommended weapons from you guys. I do appreciate it. Until the next video, though, this is goodbye. I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.